The way that I have been trained as a sales professional is I'm not allowed to present anything until I get my customer to ask for it first. I'll say that again. I'm not allowed to present anything until I get my customer to ask for it first. Now they're asking for it by sharing with me what their needs are. If they tell me they need to shorten their sales cycle, if they tell me that they need to have peace of mind, they tell me they're trying to achieve this for their business, now I know what to talk to them about. There's nothing more arrogant than someone trying to sell me something when they don't even know who I am. How dare they try to assume things? Once we understand that, once we have the discipline and the common courtesy to ask those questions and they share with us what they're trying to achieve, then we can pick a solution. Once we've done that, now we show it to them, show them how we've helped others, how we believe we can help them, and we ask for the commitment. You're presenting your solution. You're doing it for two reasons. One reason is to share with them, to teach them how doing business with you utilizing your product, service, solution will actually help them achieve their goals, right? That's the first reason. The other reason of presenting a solution is actually to prompt your prospects words of value. <clears throat> words of value that you can use again. Because this value thing, while you need to understand and be able to articulate it, the most important thing is to be able to get your customer to say it back to you. That's why when you're presenting, and we did this actually during the presenting workshop last, last month, which is, it's not how that look, how's that sound, what do you think? It's what impact do you think that would have in helping you achieve your the goals? The type of conversation that I am teaching and recommending, most sales professionals don't have it out there in the real world, do they? So the first thing is, if you're having this type of conversation, where it's not just, this is why we're so great and this is why you should do business with us, it's, what are you trying to achieve? What are your goals and objectives? What's your vision of a world-class partnership? And then pick and choose how to show to them that that's the right answer for them. They look at you with a completely different set of eyes and ears, and they appreciate that you're helping them think things through that they haven't even considered. One of the jobs when you're actually questioning your customer to understand what their needs and wants are, one of the goals is not only to understand it, the bigger goal is to expand their vision of what's possible.